It's my teacher and me left in the classroom. And when she asks me if I'm done, I say, I'm still thinking. And it's true. I still don't know how I want to be executed. It's easy. Firing squad or hanging. You should be thankful for giving revolutionary scum like you the choice. If I hadn't been your teacher before this war, I would probably feed you to the dogs. The dogs, she says. Don't make me laugh. There are no dogs in our society. That's what this whole war is about. Each side believes that the other side exterminated all the dogs in our world. It's been a bloody war. And if there's one thing I don't understand, is why people still use dog idioms in everyday language. It's raining cats and dogs, they'll say. And this town has gone to the dogs. These are cliches that were used sparingly in the past for effect with a kind of dopey irony. Now they're used constantly and extremely earnestly, like a strange and cruel joke. Don't hound me. Even children say these things, and most have never even seen a dog. They don't even know what dogs are. Not that I do, either. Nobody does. There's theories, sure, but really, who's to say? Some people think a dog is like a gift. Others say it's something more abstract, like pain or structure. Scientists, philosophers, women and men of letters are all involved in a great intellectual debate, a tug of war for truth. Meanwhile, we fight on. It's not easy to believe in a cause, harder still to die for one. Which brings me back to the intro. What's it gonna be? Hanging or firing squad? She says. I stay silent. You were always indecisive, Rockefeller. She tells me. Even when you were my student. I glance up. Outside, reactionaries clamor for blood. My comrades are being executed, and the crowd foams at the mouth. It's a sad day. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, Miss Nixon, I say to her. And it's true. Or at least, it probably is. Who knows what that even means?